Hello, and welcome to FM Review. I'm your host, Freddie Robinson. And in this video, I will be introducing the Analog Super NT. What is it? A Super Nintendo clone, of course. However, it uses Field Programmable Gate Array, or FPGA technology, which, simply put, is a digitally integrated circuit that can be fully customized by writing whatever configuration you need. And it can be installed on a circuit board in a small chip, which can replace single components or entire system boards, like the case of the Analog Super NT. Basically, this one board simulates every component of the original Super Nintendo's core. The use of this technology can preserve the classic hardware we love as age and time affects original consoles. What can it do? This console can play any Super Nintendo or Super Famicom cartridge that will play on the original hardware in beautiful, clean 1080p, 720p, or old school 480p for retro purists. It even works with the Super Game Boy and Super Game Boy 2. But wait! Reproduction carts, Game Saver Plus, Game Doctor SF6, Sufami Turbo, Super UFO, and flash cards like the SD2 SNES and Super Everdrive work flawlessly. Sadly, the lack of analog output for old CRTs restricts the use of the Super Scope 6 and compatible games, which is the one and only downside I have found with my time using the console. On the bright side, you can use your own Super Nintendo controllers with no problem, or you can use the outstanding wireless controllers from 8-Bit Doe. These controllers cost around $40 and comes in a variety of colors, just like the consoles. So far, the original Super Nintendo Pad, Super Advantage, and the ghostly 8-bit dough controllers work perfect with the console. Inserting game cartridges is smooth and secure, which reduces game freeze-up and glitches found in similar clone consoles where vibration and poor connections rapidly occur. Gameplay is lag-free and silky smooth just like original hardware, even using the optional wireless controllers as mentioned earlier since the FPGA is based on the early 213 model chipset and matches original hardware input latency. Video quality is amazing providing crisp, sharp, pixels or smooth soft edges if you prefer an alternative look. The audio is reproduced identical to original hardware and sounds fantastic. The system settings offer video scan lines to match the retro CRT look from the past and offer a negative 3 decibel cut to alter your gameplay experience if desired. Peeking at the system menu using the built-in hotkeys, you are able to adjust the font, enter cheat codes, adjust screen size and resolution, enable scan lines, cut audio, and adjust the LED color and motion. Great videos on fine-tuning the micro adjustments to get display perfection is available from My Life in Gaming, DF Retro, and Firebrand X. So what's included inside the box is the console hdmi cable usb cable power adapter and a tri-fold paper booklet with system details and a brief summary of super turrican yes this comes with two games preloaded for your enjoyment in case you don't own any games or if you are in the market for the definitive turrican gameplay experience Additional boxes can include wireless controllers, adapters, and cables, along with paper leaflets from 8-Bit Doe, if you choose this option when ordering. Unfortunately, this comes at an extra cost. Well, how much does this cost? Analog sells these consoles for $189.99, plus shipping, and options for additional controller 
and adapters for $40 through Amazon.com. Or, for the ultimate package, you can order the limited edition Ghostly package. I chose for $249.99 plus shipping, but it includes the 8-bit wireless controller and adapter in the matching color of the console. If you are settling for the console only, you can choose among the U.S. Classic color, which is gray and purple, a solid all-black console option, the Super Famicom, which is multiple shades of gray, or sadly, the no longer available transparent. I chose the ghostly white, but at the time of this video, it was sold out too. However, faithful scalpers on eBay have your needs covered for three times the original price if your wallet has too many dollars hanging around. Isn't this a bit expensive? Yes and no. You see, you get what you pay for and analog did not hold back with these consoles. When comparing video quality and audio reproduction, with this price range, you can spend close to $300 if you order the extra controller which is not too far from the original Super Nintendo console cost back in 1991. However, if you are chasing the same output quality using original hardware, you will spend close to $75 for a one-chip Super Nintendo console, $15 for the THS7374 mod chip, $70 for the RGB to SNES cables, $400 for a Frame Meister or $200 for an OSSC totaling $560. Or for the poor overall quality you can spend $75, which is half, for similar clone consoles from Gamers Tech, Retro Duo, Super Retron, and even the now out of stock Super NES Classic which is half the price of the console without the wireless controllers. So, in my opinion, and in conclusion, I would spend the money and get this because it's perfect. Plug and play on your HD TV. It's all one unit. There's no extra cost. There's no extra cables, connections, converters, and devices. And if you can afford it, great, go for it. And now just a little bit of information on Ghostly or Ghostly International as it is known. They are a music and art company supporting work from musicians and artists, such as Matthew Deere, Mary Lattimore, Starchild and the New Romantic, and Tycho, among others. Ghostly International originally started out as an experimental pop and techno studio and has gained worldwide recognition for their look and sound of music and art. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to keep more awesome FM reviews coming your way. Three, two, one, action. If you are settling for the console only, <clears throat> if you'd rather get the console only, now let me go, go back to what I wrote. If you are settling for the console only, you can choose among the US color, Ah. If you are settling for the console only, you can choose among the U.S. Classic color, gray and purple, a solid black, man, I can't read right now. When comparing video quality and audio reproduction, with this price range, you can spend close to $300, which is not too far from the original Super Nintendo console cost. Yes, buddy. What? What now? What now? Is the house on fire? Okay, well, there's no emergency. <clears throat> yes, what is, yes, 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 what? What? Is that the doggy? Woof, woof, woof. Are you being a doggy? Ghostly International originally started out as an experimental pop and techno studio and has gained worldwide recognition for their look and sound of music and art. All right, whoo! Now, thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions, 
please leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to keep more awesome FM reviews coming your way.